Today, Lisa Rally finds out what happens when an adventurous lady, who happens to be a Pilates fundi, meets a stand-up paddleboard. What would make a city girl ditch the lights of London, Hong Kong, Dubai and Johannesburg? Well, if this is what awaits, then who would hesitate? Having instructed Pilates in Hong Kong, Dubai and London, classically trained ballerina Tash Barnard returned home to SA, where she now works closely with her chiropractor husband, Andre, at her studio in Belito. Hi Lisa, pleased to meet you. Oh, so good to meet you, eh? Hey? Thank you. I hear you're just taking things to a new level out here in Belito. Living the life, we've got to embrace it. As if Pilates wasn't hard enough on solid ground, you're now taking it just that one level further and doing it in the ocean. Absolutely, you know, I've been teaching Pilates for 12 years and for some reason have a fetish with unstable surfaces. And now that we're living at the coast, Pilates on the SUP is my new thing. Is it safe for all levels, so beginner, intermediate and advanced? Absolutely. Obviously, if you have a bit of a Pilates background, then you'll be able to stabilize and stand on the board for a little bit longer. But anyone is welcome. We have children, we have different body types, different ages. Anyone's welcome. Have you got your hubby in the background doing headstands? <laughs> Absolutely. Always up for a laugh. What are some of the advantages of doing Pilates on a SUP versus doing Pilates on the ground? So Pilates on the SUP is an is unstable surface, so you definitely have to activate your proprioceptors and your stabilizers. And it just creates a fun way of taking your Pilates practice to a whole new level. Would you recommend that somebody did a base level of Pilates or some classes with you first before venturing out onto the sea? Absolutely. My motto in the studio is to educate the clients about their body. So we definitely want to encourage those good core bassy Pilates principles. And then they take it onto the board and they can experience a bit of fun. So are there any plans to venture out and expand this concept beyond Benito? Absolutely. I was in uh, at Emerentia Dam in Joburg not so long ago. We did a demo there and I'm off to Cape Sun this weekend at Sunset Beach. So for sure, everyone's jumping on board. Lisa found that this workout offers an exciting core and balance challenge. The paddler must constantly recruit stabilizing muscles of the pelvis and spine just to stand making it great for developing spinal stability and abdominal strength. I brought with me today Grace Readers, who's one of the Miss SA finalists for 2011. Grace, you're a surfer. Tell me how this compares to your normal surfing. Well, as you know, the surfing that I do is on a much smaller board and we don't usually stand up and paddle. In this, in this way, it was really nice to just you know, stand up and it wasn't as difficult as what I thought it would be and I really enjoyed it. I mean, what a good workout for my arms and like my sides and no, I just loved it. Great day. Definitely I'll be back. My experience today doing Pilates on the stand-up paddleboard was a very different and inspiring one. I feel like it was a great workout. I'm even sweating all over. So it was working my core, my balance, my appropriate reception. It was unbelievable actually to be outside in nature, the sun shining on my body and doing exercise with these amazing people out in Benito. So we have to embrace South Africa's climate, our beautiful surroundings. Honestly people, we have no excuses.